Hey, what's going on? Ryland here in the garage gym coming to you with another review. And I've got my mic working this time because I just shot this without the mic turned on, which happens all it happens more frequently than I wish I could wish I wish it did. But okay, so we're talking about this water aqua bag right here. And I've got some tools in my hand. I'm gonna put that down for a second. But if you're like me and you want to train and you want to box, you've got to have some boxing bags. These aqua bags are the best. They have the best feel, the best feedback, and it's my favorite bag to train with. I didn't want to spend two or $300 on a brand name aqua bag at the time, a couple years ago, because I just hadn't used one of these bags. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not. Turns out I really do. But I bought this bag off of Amazon and it is a polyform A3 size bag. And I got this, I think for around 70 bucks um, shipped, which is a great deal. And you can still find these on Amazon. They're either made by TaylorMade or Polyform. You'll see them on there. But I wanna share a couple tips with you on how to select the bag size and how to set it up with water. So first we'll talk about the size. They use a different sizing. They'll use a size like 21 inches or 19 inches, 18 inches, and they're talking about the diameter um, circumference of the bag itself. All I'm really worried about is the A number size. So A1 all the way up through A7, um, depending on the size of the bag. But this A3 is the best all round size for boxing. It weighs about 110 pounds partially filled. And the reason it's partially filled is you wanna fill it up to about where the color change is on the bag because when you're punching it, you wanna have the water have somewhere to go. It has to have somewhere in there to be able to move to. Otherwise, it's gonna feel like, a, a basically like punching a piece of concrete. So that's why you don't fill these all the way up. It's really important that you don't do that. So partially filled, this thing's still about 110 pounds. It's heavy. So it's a great size. If I was to get another one, I probably wouldn't go any bigger, to be honest. I might go down one size, something that you can really move around, get a lot of head movement with. This is gonna swing around pretty good, but it's not gonna move around like, a, like, a, like I said, an A2 or a smaller um, uh, one would. Now, filling it with water, that's another step that's gonna be a little different. The Aqua brand punching bags are set up for water. These are not. so. These are made to fill, fill and hold air and be airtight. There's a little screw and a little valve right here. So what you need to do is get your flathead screwdriver and undo this valve, basically a little plug, and take that out. Once you have that out, now what you have to do is get a drill bit, and I think it's like a quarter inch or something, and drill out the hole in there to give you somewhere to put some um, put the water into it um, easily so that's what you're gonna have to do there and you can see this screwdriver goes all the way down and that just allows you to put a little bit more water into the bag so you just take a screw uh, drill and just drill that out really easily it's not very hard to do now filling it with water you've got that drilled out you got your plug out the next thing is it's hard to get water into this tiny little hole. And my first tip is it's gonna be easier if you're by yourself, like I am here, I didn't wanna bother my wife with messing with this thing, is set it up on your chain first before you fill it with water because it's gonna get really heavy. And once it's heavy, it's gonna be hard to hold on to and try to hook up to your chain. So get yourself a shackle or something similar to this. I'll show you some pictures as I'm talking about it and get yourself set up on your chain, find your height. And once you're good with that, now go grab your garden hose and I'll show you another trick. So once you've got your, your garden hose out here, now trying to get water into this tiny little hole requires this little device here. And this is just one of those air nozzles you can get from Harbor Freight, uh, Home Depot or wherever. They're really cheap. Most people are gonna have this already, like I did. And you'll just wanna mock up a little adapter so that you can go from a garden hose to an air, uh, an air truck adapter and then into your nozzle here. Now, once you've done that, you just stick that in there and 
it's really easy to fill. In fact, you can fill it without spilling any water on your, on your floor, whether it's in your house or in your garage. So these are just a few little tips I wanted to share with everybody on how to set up an aqua bag in your, in your house or in your home. And sizing wise, like I said, A3, that's the one I'm probably gonna recommend for most people. Uh, I'm about 220 pounds and this bag works really well for me. I really like the size on it and the weight. You could go heavier, you could go lighter. I mean, you could buy three of them if you want. They're really inexpensive, um, but they work really well. So again, if you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments below. I'll gladly help uh, answer those questions for you. And if there's anything I missed, please throw it down there as well. I appreciate all the feedback and thanks for watching. I've got two more reviews coming up on boxing specific stuff. By the way, this is on a rail and I can move this, move my bags anywhere in the gym using a rail system and that I have a whole video on that check it out it's in my video somewhere on how to set up your boxing bags on a rail it's really convenient I highly recommend it all right thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and have a great day